The CLSSI is capable of operating in two different summing modes. In uh, the two-way mode, which is selectable via a switch on this panel of the unit, it will sum the sub-signal to a rear high-pass and a front high-pass signal. So in a lot of uh, OEM systems that are set up that way, that's the mode you'll probably use most of the time. Some cars, however, have three-way crossover setups where they have maybe a sub, a mid-range speaker, and a tweeter with individual channels driving those in the OEM system. If that's what you're facing, you need to flip that switch from two-way over to three-way, and then the unit will sum the low-pass signal to the band-pass signal to the high-pass signal down to two channels and output two channels of audio. It'll output those two channels out of its front and rear output, so it'll feed all four channels of input on the DSP processor. In some really exotic situations, you may actually have a three-way front and a three-way rear in a car. In that case, you would need two SSIs to sum each front and rear section, and then you would need to take the output of the second one and splice it in to the harness that's feeding the DSP unit so you have a distinct front and rear signal in the system with full fading capability. So if that happens to be important to the customer in that application, you can achieve that even when you have two three-way setups by simply using two of the units.